All right, AP Calculus. It's the last math class in U.S. public schools and the first useful math class of your entire life. The foundation of all of modern science and technology, and who cares? You're here to find out what calculus even is. Well, you've come to the right place. Like all of the idea that calculus is hard, it's really not. It's just explained badly with words that are technically correct, but way too big for regular people like you and I to understand. Just to prove this point, I'm not going to say the words infinity or infinitesimal a single time in this video. So what is it really? Calculus is just algebra, but zoomed in a lot. That's it. It's like a 4K version of 480p algebra. So you can calculate a lot more stuff with it, but you still won't be able to calculate how to get a girlfriend. So how's it really just zoomed in algebra? Well, calculus is fundamentally built off of two very useful tools that also happen to be related. Derivatives and integrals. And other things that you can pass the AP exam without. We'll start with derivatives. Here is a line. The slope, much like a ski slope, of the line tells you how much y increases as x increases. The steepness. If we're trying to use this to model something, like the position of a car, usually cars don't move in straight lines like this. They move more complicated, like this. Well, how am I going to find the slope of this graph? Well, it's obviously not a straight line anymore, so let's zoom in until it is. Okay, now we can find the slope again. Keep in mind, this is only the slope at the place where we zoomed in at. We can use the same formula here, plugging in change in y over the small distance of x, and get a very close estimate of the slope. The more we zoom in, the more accurate we get, just like higher resolution. Brilliant. And as long as the graph is smooth, if we zoom in enough anywhere on the graph, we can always do the same thing. We also notice that since the slope is changing as we move across the graph, the slope of curves like this, rather than just being a constant number, is probably a function. Let's combine the ideas of zooming in and finding a function. We start with our same slope equation. As we zoom in, x2 is x1 plus some really small amount based on how much we zoomed in. We're going to call that delta x. What about for y? Remember that f of x is another way of saying y. So we'll plug in f of x2 and f of x1, which is really just y at each of those x values. We plug in some more, and voila! This is how we're going to find all our derivatives as functions. A simple example is the parabola, f of x equals x squared. With some algebra and our new formula, we get that the derivative, or the slope across all x values, is a new function, 2x. Actually, you can do this with every single derivative that you're generally expected to memorize in your class. Pretty cool, huh? Integrals are the other side of calculus. Just like derivatives have an easier name of slope, integral has an easier name, sum. Yes, like addition. Weird looking crowbar? It's actually an S, drawn by someone who was on the good stuff. S for sum. Let's return to our humble line. If we know the y values of the line, which is given by the equation of the line, we can add them up to get a sum. For example, if we take y values at every whole number x value, we can take our resolution to be x size 1. And the resulting sum visually looks like something like these rectangles. Let's try zooming these rectangles into higher resolution, and we'll keep taking the sum every single time. Eventually, these rectangles get so thin where they're basically just straight lines that go up from the x-axis to the line itself. And the sum becomes very close to the exact sum of all the values of the function. You'll notice that because the rectangles are so thin now, it looks like the area under the line. Indeed, this is where the idea of area under the curve comes from, and it works for all kinds of shapes, not just straight lines. We can do the exact same rectangular approximation for any curve, but it's super tedious. So what would a better way to do this be? Well, the sum of a function's values can also be written as a function, which means there should be some way to figure it out with some algebra. We're going to call our sum function capital F. Capital F has a really unique property. It's directly related to our original function lowercase f in that every term that we add to capital F comes from a term in lowercase f. In other words, capital F increases by lowercase f for every increase in zoomed in x. We can represent that with this equation, which we can rearrange to get... Does that look familiar? Capital F's derivative is lowercase f. And remember that capital F was our sum function, or in other words, our integral function. This implies that integrals and derivatives are actually inverse operations. Ah, then maybe we can use that to algebraically figure out integrals. Since capital F's derivative, or in other words, the integral, is lowercase f, the original function, capital F has to be a derivative in reverse of lowercase f. We usually just call that an antiderivative. In other words, if we do the derivative in reverse, we should be able to find the integral of lowercase f. Let's use the same example as before. We know that x squared's derivative is 2x. So what's the integral of 2x? Well, we're asking, what is the result of doing the derivative of 2x backwards? So it must be x squared. If we want to find a specific area, or sum, we can just write some numbers like this on the ends of the crowbar, and do simple subtraction like this, and we get the exact answer. So yeah, AP calculus in 6 minutes. Not too bad, right? If we don't use terms like differential and indefinite integral and limit, then it's really not that weird of a concept. Just slopes and sums, but like high resolution RTX on.
If you want videos on more specific topics or all the stuff I skipped, let me know. But otherwise, now you know calculus about as well as you'll ever need to. So congrats. Un unless you become a STEM major in college.